Hello. In this session, we will look at how you can create your uh, customer managed policies. So in the last session, we looked at an introduction to policy. So once again, policies are nothing but your permission. So perm policies will simply define the access or the actions, the resources, the identities can take when they log into the AWS account. All right. So again, under your policies, we have two types. We have the managed policies and we have the inline policies. And again, your managed policies can be categorized into two types. You have the AWS managed policies and the customer managed policies. Now, AWS managed policies are the policies that are created and managed by AWS. And the customer managed policies are the policies that we create and manage. So as a user, whenever you create a policy, we call that as a customer managed policy. And you will be responsible for managing that customer managed policy. Now, in this session, we will be looking at how you can create your customer managed policies and also how we can attach that uh, customer managed policy to the uh, user accounts. Once again, before we start off with this session, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's get started with this. So here we will go to our console and under policies, if you go to the policies by default, you will have the AWS managed policies. All right. So as of now, we have 1096 policies and all these policies are created and managed by AWS. Now, how do you identify whether it is an AWS managed policy or not? One is you can look at this icon or the logo and also that type will tell you whether it is AWS managed or not. Now, in mo most of the time, what happens is your AWS managed policies has too much permissions. All right. And uh, you may need a very restricted permission, very granular level of permissions. And that's where we can make use of your customer managed policies. Now to create your customer managed policies here under policies, you can go to create policy and you start defining the details. Now there are two ways you can give these permissions. Uh, one is you can make use of this visual editor. And if you know JSON, you can simply write this JSON. You can you know have this JSON document which will provide the permissions. In the last session, I told you that these policies are nothing but these are your JSON documents. So AWS stores these policies in the form of JSON documents. In our case, we will make use of the visual to uh, create these policies. So step one would be to specify the service for which service you are creating this permission. So let's say I want to create this permission for IAM service. So here you should be able to see the service. Now under IAM, what all actions do you want to allow? All right. So let's say I want to allow uh, list access. So I want to allow all list access. Then under read access, I want to allow, let's say, get group, uh, get user, get uh, role, and then let's say get policy. So now we are doing a very granular level of permissions, very restricted level of permissions. Likewise, if you want to uh, give the user to create resources, so here you can see create group, create role, create user. Uh, we can also define a create policy access. Uh, let me see where that is. So we have create, create, um, am I, where is it? Come on, create uh, access key. Um, okay, I, I'm not able to find it. It should be somewhere. So like this, you can define the permissions. And then who all gets this access? So only a user or your role or your group. So who is going to get this access? In our case, anyone can use this. So we'll go with all resources and then we'll click on next. We go, give a name to this group. So let's call this as custom IAM policy. We'll give a description to this. You get to review what all access you have given. We'll add a tag to this. Now what is tag? Tag is simply your metadata. So we are just adding a name to this and click on create policy and this will create a customer managed policy. So now we have 1097 and here you can see the policy. I don't have the logo and you can see this is customer managed policy and uh, I can see the details of this. So when I click on that here, you can see the permissions and if you want to see the JSON uh, document of this on the right hand side, just click on JSON and this will show you what all access you are allowing. Now, likewise, if you want to explicitly deny the access, we can do that also. Uh, same, everything remains the same uh, when you're creating this policy. 
uh, you will have to explicitly say that you want to deny the access. So let's say we'll go with IAM and by default, this will be allowed. So here you can see switch to deny permissions. You can click on this and whatever the permissions you will define, you are going to deny those permissions right so this is how you can create your customer managed policies and here you can see the uh, uh, overview as to what all permissions you are allowing so we are giving list access uh, we are giving it read access we are giving it write access all those things now once you're done creating these uh, policies you have the option of attaching this so entities attached as of now you can see we have not attached this to any user or to any group so you can either attach it from here or you can go to the group level and you can start attaching it. So let's say I want to attach this policy to my developer group. So I'll go to permissions and here you should be able to add permissions and attach policies and we should be able to see that permission and add. Now any users who are part of this group will get that access. It is automatically applied. You don't have to worry about it. So this becomes your customer managed policy and you are responsible for this. So if something goes wrong with this, you are responsible. You cannot uh, go and ask AWS about this because you are creating this. You are responsible for managing this policy as well. So this is your customer managed policy. So once again, customer managed policies can be used when you want to give very precise permissions or very granular level of permissions you can go ahead and make use of your customer managed policies which basically defines the actions that you want to allow or you don't want to allow to the users or to the groups or to the roles that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video